Here comes the street champion. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikoa! The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. When it comes to the street champion, Solo always puts that title on the line. Six foot seven, 270 pounds of pure aggression. And his opponent from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, P. A man who no longer hides his rage behind a mask. Indeed, Saxton, he's become a one-man source of retribution. A lot of unanswered questions about T-Bar in particular, but one thing cannot be denied. This boy ain't right. Solo Sakala set for competition here. Clearly focused as ever. Focused and with a target acquired, Cole. Sokoa's never not in a bad mood. And we can already see he came ready for a beatdown. Strangely, I think beating down his competition is the only thing that eventually puts him in a good mood. And even that's debatable. Just look into his eyes right now. And he's stepping into the ring with a monster. T-Bar has used his disappointment and his anger as fuel to become the deadliest possible version of himself. A WWE career of being passed over awakens something inhuman in T-Bar. Under retribution, he's finally got the chance to show everyone what he can do. He's got the answer for that one. Up and... What are they doing here? And that was an effective attack, guys. All the way. God. Ooh. He's back into the ring. There's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Look, we know the name of Solo's game by now. He's going to want to slow things down and maintain the pace that benefits him. If you can pick up the pace, refuse to play into things the way Solo wants them, there is a chance to gain the advantage here. Yeah, running circles around Solo could be a good strategy. Samoan drop. Sokoa channeling all his negative energy into something painful there. Yeah. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Taking this to the floor. Firm control. Big boot! Jeez. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. <laughs> Climbing up top. He's from the top. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Solo reverses and looks to capitalize. Windy up. Solo with Spike. That's one for Sakoa before. Winding up. Solo with Spike. Is there any life left in Tebow? I 
can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Oh, man. They've got their opponent's arm. Vicious knee drop. Great flurry of offense from Solo. Yeah, somehow T-Bar has to turn the tide. really as close as it gets. Oh, what a kick to the face. My God. That unraveled on T-Bar. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. We knew we were in for something special between these competitors, but they are taking things over their own limits. Gets him with the counter. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights up. Ooh. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Oh, stop in the way. Just nasty. Why'd he go? with a win like that. With a win like that, he just stood up and commanded the attention of everyone in the WWE Universe. I think they've noticed, Byron.